All right. Just doing a little testing here to see how this looks. Testing, testing, one, two, three. I'm getting ready to do this, uh, making a tetherball game for life two in Second Life, and I'm going to try to see how I can do on this. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all of these. I'm going to make a bunch of copies of these two things, the ball and the rope. <laughs> so, I'm going to start out first. I'm going to put it in the, this perspective. I'm going to select both the ball and the rope. I'm going to hit Shift D to make a duplicate of that. And it, they did make a duplicate. You can't see it right yet because uh, it's on top of the other one. But I'm going to hit R for rotate and Y on the Y axis. And there's the other ball. So basically, I'm going to bring that one down here for the starting position. <laughs> now, the way I did this, I mean, it's pretty simple. These are just pretty simple shapes that you start out with as prims. Well, as mesh shapes in this program. But this, this, and this are all, well, and this one too, are all just cylinders. And then these three are spheres. This is the base of the tetherball pole. And what I did is I made a uh, made a cylinder. I'm going to take it into edit and show you. I made a cylinder and just basically um, selected this line right here, scaled it in and out until I got the desired shape I wanted. So yeah, I mean that, that is pretty simple to make. But basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, make a bunch of different copies of the ball and rope. And uh, after, when they're all made, it's going to go all the way around this pole. And they're all going to be visible. So it's just going to be like a bunch. Uh, I'm going to try to get the effect of the ball swinging around the pole when the kid hits it. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing with this. Uh, I might be back on here after a bit to show you some more but that's it for now just basically doing a simple streaming test to see how this goes talk to you later folks